Hey everybody, so back in video 1472 we talked about the water motor. Now the water motor, it's been around for years, since about the 1660s or something like that. It had its heyday around about the turn of the 19th century. And it's no surprise if you think about it, because if you've ever seen the first electric motor, well, I mean, it was pants, who could imagine it could do anything and become the sort of, um, you know, staple of our modern society. So when people were looking for power supplies, of course, they looked in traditional ways, wind and horse and water. And the water motor was basically a cut-down water wheel. Now, it worked because there was a municipal supply in place, and municipal supplies are supplied at positive pressure, around about 30 psi. The reason is it squeezes the water out of the pipe. If that falls, then the groundwater gets squeezed into the pipe and we get contaminated water supplies. So there's always a positive pressure. And this was used in early water motors. Now, early water motors were um, connected directly to machines. And so you got a thing like a water motor powered washing machine. Later, people were connecting them to their own generators and there was a quarter horsepower uh, version available that used a pelton wheel. So there's a whole range of water motors that were around used for a whole range of purposes, including electrical generation. Now, for the reasons I mentioned, it became illegal to connect a water motor directly to the main supply because it reduced the main supply pressure. But you can still connect water motors to things that you're going to use anyway. So, for example, a sprinkler system or a hose to your garden or filling up a pond or filling up your bath or filling up your toilet. Anywhere where it's not directly connected to the supply, you can connect up a water motor and scavenge energy from it. So, of course, this is a tremendously interesting thing to me. And what I've done is created a water motor. And here it is in Tinkercam. Now remember the Tinkercad files, the link to them is in the description in the bottom. They're open to everybody and they're freely available for you to muck around with and do with as you will. Okay, so that's my version printed off and there's the rotor. It's the same rotor we've been using. It's a very simple rotor, so clearly you could improve this. Maybe make it a Tesla, maybe make a Pelton wheel, whatever it is you want to do. You can improve that rotor. I haven't bothered to put an arrow on there to show you the direction of water because if we look at this in cross-section, all you'll see is that the pipe narrows down to that tiny, tiny hole, which is right here, and that makes use of the men's pressure. It creates a spray onto the rotor and we get better use out of it. Clearly, for generation, we could do exactly what we've been doing with the um, blowtorch. That is, we can use a PC fan and attach it onto the end of there. What we can expect from something like this with men's pressure in the UK, it's about 10 watts or so that you'll get. Now, I've done these little barbs so it can go in line with the hose, but again, it'll work well on compressed air. You could try it on steam. For us, let's connect it to a hose and see what this bad boy does. Okay, let's try some water in that. <laughs> it's like a water cannon. That's awesome. Okay, you can expect somewhere about 10 watts from this. I mean, I know I haven't put the generator section on, but we could just do exactly what we did with the PC blow fan and put a PC fan on there. We should get around about 10 watts from men's pressure with that whole time. So there you go, your very own water motor. Now, it works great, but of course, you've got to think about what else you could do with it. I mean, like I say, you could play around with the rotor, you could play around with the connections, you can think of other ways that you could possibly use it. I have one in mind, which I think is pretty awesome, but that's free for everybody who wants to use it. Thank you very much for watching the video, and please do remember to like and subscribe.